Hey guys, um, today I'm going to be showing you a synth of mine. Um, it's just a really, really quick synth. It's from a song of mine that's on my SoundCloud channel called Angora. And I'm just going to show you, you know, what the synth is going to sound like. So yeah, it's just that rising synth. Um, reason why I'm showing you this one is because it's just really, really useful. It just adds another layer into whatever dance song you might be doing. And it's really, really easy to make. So I'm going to take this combinator that the MIDI is already on, initialize it so we have a blank combinator. And then I'm going to open up a Thor go to show programmer and then in the first oscillator I'm gonna open up a multi and set the mode to up uh, octave up down uh, you can leave the octave where it is and set the amount to 38 alright then open up another multi um, this one you can leave the mode where it is but bring up the octave one so it's at 5, and then set the amount to 44. There we go. Okay, then open up an analog oscillator, uh, turn on the square wave, set the pulse width to about 30. And you can bring up the octave to 5. Alright, then low pass layer filter, just bring up the frequency all the way. Um, filter envelope, leave it where it is, and then fold, decay, sustain, and then um, the attack you can bring up to about, um, I don't know, like 160, 164, that's a good amount. Alright, then um, just to add a bit more depth to this, let's open up a unison filter then the detune is going to be really really low so about five and then the dry wet is going to be somewhere around 50 60 somewhere around there all right then just to add a bit more atmosphere to it just open up an rv7 digital reverb and you can the preset is already it's already good um, just bring the dry wet down to about, I don't know, like 20. Okay, and that's it. I'm going to show you what the synth actually sounds like, you know, on its own. And if my computer will actually get going. Where is it? So you see it's just like a really good multi oscillator synth. It it just generates a nice, you know, loud high pitched tone um that you can add on to just about any dance song that you're doing. Um and it just adds a whole nother layer to what you're doing. And then for the pitch bend, just do exactly that. You know, I just have this one little automation rising up. So, you know, for that I have the range set to about 24, if you want to just copy it. So, yeah, that's about it. Just a quick tutorial today. Um, so, yeah, thank you for watching, and hope you enjoy using this, and have a nice day.